Hey there, it's Chester with Big Lakes Lawn Care and I'm making a quick video uh, to describe to you some of the things that we experience when we're mowing grass in the spring. So it has been an exceptionally wet spring. We have had record amounts of rainfalls and we are getting inches and inches of rain all the time. And this creates some challenges and I want you guys to know how we're handling them. So challenge number one is edging on the lawn. If we put a blade edger into your lawn when the lawn is this wet and muddy, it is gonna do more harm than good. It'll spray mud everywhere, it'll create clumps of mud that'll fall all over the lawn, and it'll, it just won't come out very good. If this is the edge of the lawn and we cut a nice edge here, then when any weight is put on that lawn, it's gonna collapse down and squeeze out and squeeze mud and water onto the sidewalk. So for that reason, we're instructing our crews right now to be very selective with the areas that they edge and to hold off. Uh, spring is a battle when it comes to grass and we need to start to win the battle before we can get the blade edgers out and cut that really nice edge for you. So just bear with us for a week or two. As soon as things dry out, we will be getting out the mechanical blade edgers and we will be giving you that crisp edge that really makes all the difference on your property. For now, the guys will be edging with the weed whips. So they will just clean things up with the whip. They'll sort of give you a nice looking edge without making all that mud. Uh, problem number two with the wetness we're having is cleanup. Uh, when the stuff is this wet, it just sticks to everything. The grass is full of minerals, it's sticky, and combine that with a wet sidewalk or wet siding, the stuff sticks. So we're gonna have some extra challenges with cleanup this time of year, and the guys are gonna dedicate the extra time and energy necessary to give you a good cleanup, but it is definitely tough to get everything perfect this time of year with cleanup. An example would be if there are grass clippings on the sidewalk and the guy with the lawnmower drives over the sidewalk to park it back on the trailer, those tire tracks are gonna grind that grass into the sidewalk and he has to cross the sidewalk somewhere to get to the truck. Uh, so again, we're gonna dedicate the extra energy to getting the stuff clean, but it's tougher than normal. Um, point number three I wanna make is scheduling. Um, if, I mean, we schedule four days per week of cutting generally, four and a half days because we always want to have that cushion. We want to have that half a day Friday and all day Saturday and Sunday to get caught up with our schedule. We try not to work the guys Sunday, but sometimes we have to. But what this means is that if, if we skip everything Monday, everybody else in the week is now getting pushed back. So that results in a few things. One is that your scheduled day might not be super accurate when we're getting this much rain. I mean, it's been raining for days. Um, problem or sort of the effect of that, number two, is um, we might have to cut in a light drizzle. I know it's not ideal, but the alternative, if we skip your lawn for a week, it's gonna be eight inches tall and, it's gonna, and then it's gonna be a complete mess. So you, it's just something that we deal with internally and we'll handle it all. You don't have to worry about a thing, but if we come a day behind or you see the guys cutting in a light drizzle, uh, just please understand that we're doing everything we can to keep on schedule. Um, point, I guess whatever point I'm on now, the next point is uh, clumps in the lawn. So when the lawn is this wet, um, we experience clumps. The grass is in a growth phase, it's full of minerals. If you pick it up, it's sticky on your hands, especially if you're fertilizing, and the stuff sticks together. Um, we spray our the undercoating of our decks on our mowers with some special stuff to try to prevent clumps and let stuff release. And we also bought some new mowers this year with more horsepower, which means it's gonna chop the grass even more intensely and will minimize the clumps. That's not an end all be all though. So if there were clumps on your lawn, uh, the guys will blow them around, we'll do a little raking, we'll rake them up, and just rest assured that if there are any fine clumps left behind, next week they will get mowed again, they'll mulch down into the lawn, they're harmless, and it's, it's like a natural fertilizer when we mulch the grass. Uh, so those are a few points to be aware of and just know that spring is super difficult. The grass grows so fast when it's wet that we could automatically really mow your lawn twice a week and it would be justifiable, but it just wouldn't make sense from a cost standpoint for you to mow it twice a week. So consequently, it's going to take us a couple weeks of being on the lawn and getting it under control and starting to dial everything in before we really get that immaculate cut that we stand by and that you deserve to have. Uh, so please, during these wet times, just bear with us a little bit. If you see the crew, say hi. If you got a question, you know where to find us, give us a call. And um, 
and if you see a manager out there, by the way, like Ed or myself, um, we're doing spot checks all the time right now. Uh, it's always, we got to blow the dust off of the guys every spring because they haven't cut grass since last fall. So we're out there spot checking them. We're out there training them. We're out there showing them what to look for. And, um, you know, spring kind of hits us all at once. And so you're going to see lots of management presence in the field. And, um, you know, we're, we're really working at it hard this year to make sure your lawn looks awesome and um, stuff is as easy for you as possible. So I hope those few tips help. And uh, if you have a question again, give us a call, 810-512-7770. Thanks.